Hello Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus. It is a love reading and uh, it is a general reading of course. So if you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Doesn't look like new love to me. This definitely looks like someone you've been wishing upon for a very long time. But something's making you very happy and looks like there is a renewal in love coming up. If not, there's someone who's coming up towards you, opening up emotionally. The world. You could have ended things with someone, okay? And there's a chapter that has successfully closed out, okay? Successfully accomplished a goal, reached a milestone within this connection that you are pursuing right now, and you're ready to start a new chapter with this person, okay? But this could be someone you're living at a distance with, from... Yeah. That's what I nice this is someone super passionate about you okay so what i'm getting here is that there's someone here who's very very passionate about you but with the queen of wands in reverse here you know what i'm getting i'm getting a dynamic where um <clears throat> You were very interested in someone. You were pursuing this relationship with a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of motivation. This person that you're looking out for, there could have been an energetic difference between you guys, okay? Um, an age difference, energetic difference, maturity difference, okay? And you were probably leading the role. You were probably leading the relationship, doing everything that you could, taking the entire burden of the relationship. Something happened, things could have come to a standstill or you just cut this person off from your life completely, all right? And now that, this could have been someone who makes you very, very happy. And now that you closed a chapter with this person, now this person is realizing that you mean the world to them and they're coming in towards you. But again, they're not coming as them, as the king, okay? There's still the knight here. So that in and out, in and out, heart and gold is still, probably there are chances it's still going to pursue. So be very, very careful. <clears throat> They're just going to take some time before they come to your level and mature, all right? King of Cups. Okay, I like that. So I feel that now that this person comes in, right, you're very, very balanced in your emotions. Beautiful, all right? You seem to be someone who's very, very matured in the way you're going to approach the situation. Probably earlier you were a little more emotionally biased, you know, thinking more emotionally. But now with the King of Cups here, you have that logic, that head and heart in balance here. A very balanced approach to the situation. But still, there is someone here who you still have that energetic difference with, okay? You're pulling back your energies right now, okay? You're no more emotionally imbalanced. You're no more impulsive. But yes, what I do see is that you're <coughs> no more taking action towards this person, okay? You're more focused on yourself. You're being a little selfish, all right? And very greedy with this person, okay, about your energies. And that's where they're getting drawn in, okay? You're focusing on yourself right now, doing things for yourself. You're no more uh, trying to uh, pursue the relationship. Because you could have been a little, like I said, right? Having a hard time trusting your intuition, but you're finally trusting your intuition, you understand where you're coming from and you understand where this person's coming from and probably you're letting it flow. Four of Pentacles in reverse here. I feel you have released someone who you have been holding on to very, very tight. Okay, Four of Pentacles in reverse. This looks to me as you. You could have held on to this person for a very long time, okay? Deeming that this person used to bring a lot of stability and security in your life. Sometimes what happens is that this is what we deem this person to be. Deem means this is what we think this person is providing us, okay? Maybe this person is your stability or maybe you were just in this relationship because you were a little insecure about yourself. But I feel finally, after finding that balance within yourself, you're releasing this person, okay? Because you're letting go, you're letting it flow, all right? This is detachment, you could have been very attached to this person in the past year, but now you're trying to practice detachment, okay? Like I said, you're letting it flow. Three of Swords, because there's been a lot of heartache, okay? A lot of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of fear, anxiety, um, you know, heartbreak, heart pain. This person could have really cut you through deep, all right? Because you could be dealing with a player, you could be dealing with someone who was very in and out of your life, hot and cold, someone who was uh, who could have been from from a commitment to a commitment phobe, you know, um, someone who probably just offered you scraps, okay, someone who didn't really offer you the entire package, probably they promised you the stars and, you know, they delivered nothing, empty promises, or 
you were just dealing with someone who just had commitment issues or someone who was just not ready to open up emotionally and not wanting to be vulnerable towards you and that's what has caused a lot of heartache and a lot of heart pain but i do see that this is still going to make you happy because you still have a lot of love here but it's more balanced this time <coughs> the moon so there is a lot of confusion or there is a lot of unknown there's a lot of unknown energy around this situation, okay? You probably don't know what is going on on this person's mind. You don't know where they're coming from. There's that, um, I don't have a clue about what's going on kind of thing, okay? This is on your part, Taurus, okay? I mean, I feel they're very sure about what they want because they're heading right towards you. But with the, I think you're trying very hard to um, trust your intuition, but... Remember, with the moon here, you're blocking your intuition or you're trying very hard to trust your intuition. But what's also happening here is that the moon is also a lot of illusions and beliefs. All right. And our illusions and beliefs usually are not based on any kind of fact based reality. They're all based on our past experiences or on our own fears. OK, on our own secure insecurities. So that's something that you need to take care of. OK, the moon is also trusting your intuition, but it is also um fear and anxiety so you choose what you're doing there's probably a lot of fear around this situation you probably don't know if you want to trust this person there could be a lot of insecurity around this okay seven of swords yeah see because you think this person is very in and out they're very deceptive this is someone who runs away from commitment they suppress their feelings or someone who's constantly been repeating this cycle okay so i'm getting someone who's very in and out because with the knight of wands here this is a player right not really a player but someone player like tendencies it has a bad rep uh but doesn't always compulsorily have to be a player it's just someone who doesn't like to be tied down to let me put it that way someone who likes to live in the moment and you're someone with a nine of cups and king of cups so you're someone who wants that stability okay you want that um balanced love you want the head and heart in balance okay this person only deals with their heart and you're someone who wants that balance you want that stability okay you want something that you can bank upon okay something you can rely upon and this is someone who comes off as someone very reliable because they usually deal with their passion one day they're passionate about you the second moment they're not okay but yeah and that's why for the seven of swords here for you this is someone who's very deceptive okay they continue their patterns over and over again so yeah that deception around with the moon and the seven of swords here that's clear deception okay deception does not again it does not mean that you're dealing with a cheater but someone you know who probably a does not know what they want does not know what they feel you know, they treat like people or they treat relationships like a passion project. And the moment they realize that things are getting serious, you know, and it's pushing them out of their comfort zone, that's when they start to cop out. That's when they start to leave the relationship. They try to get away from it. You know, they try to, they, they don't have a straightforward approach. Okay. They'd rather escape the situation than face the situation. Okay. So they don't even want to leave you and they, they don't even want to commit to you. You know, it's like they, they keep you hanging, you know, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. <clears throat> that's why you're not very sure because you just feel this person keeps you in the dark there's some hidden agenda that this person has or you're just never sure about what they want or what, where you stand in their lives <clears throat> tell me more please tell me more Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm getting here is that now that I have the Queen of Cups in reverse, there are chances that you're dealing with someone who probably had a hard time trusting their intuition. They had trust issues. Okay. Because we also saw the Knight of Cups in reverse, which means that someone has trust issues. They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to open up about their feelings. But now I think they're very balanced about the entire connection. They're very balanced in their head and heart. And could be that they're letting go of something that they were holding on to, that they were very closed off. Someone who was always in a state of shutdown, never wanting to be vulnerable. Okay. Someone who didn't want to open up. They were constantly blocking their heart chakra, you know. But again, this could be someone who's, you know, very scared because of their past ex experiences. Maybe they had someone who screwed them over and now they're very scared to open up to you. Okay, that's if you know their history. But I have a feeling that this is someone who's coming in towards you now. They're rushing in because they do have a lot of 
compassionate, a lot of passion, and they do have a lot of love for you, but they're just not the best at expressing this. Okay. <coughs> you, on the other hand, here, I feel again king and queen, right? So we 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 have a, like a true pair here. But the thing is that you could have been someone who gave to this person unconditional love. Yeah. You loved and loved and loved and loved to a point of exhaustion. And now you, you stop focusing on yourself. You made this person a priority. So you made this person probably, you know, a priority in the past here. You could have been a little dependent, a little clingy lover, you know, kind of thing. But I'm definitely getting someone who was putting more effort than the other partner here, okay? And you could be someone who is an overly sensitive partner. But right now you've completely shut up, all right? <clears throat> but with the six of cups here you have the best of memories with this person this is a strong soulmate connection all right so yeah both of you need to learn your lessons this is someone who's learned their lessons you're the one who needs to learn your lesson or it could be vice versa but with the devil in reverse here what i like is that whoever is the toxic one here right could be you could be them whoever's the devil here like i said right so one of you is taking the necessary steps you know to free themselves from a restrictive situation could be you doors okay but what i'm getting is you're beginning to think for yourself again and you're trying to decide your own path all right you're probably realizing that there's something here in this situation which is toxic and just not buying you the happiness that you want so yeah with that in the reverse here i feel you're detaching you know you're realizing that you know um this is not a relationship that is holding on to you so tight that you thought it was. Okay. And you probably experienced some kind of enlightenment, enlightenment or this person has and it's slowly dawning on you. Okay. That no one owns you and you have the power to change your life. Okay. If you choose to. And that's exactly what's happening here. Could be the person you're dealing with or could be you. Okay. But one of you or whoever, either this is a toxic person or a toxic situation. Okay. Because we have the four of pentacles in reverse right here. So I have a feeling that Taurus, it could be you who's letting go of something toxic or this could be the person you're dealing with who had a toxic pattern, who had some a negative pattern that they were repeating over and over again. There was some blockages, some restrictions you know they felt restrictive about some quality that they had could be ego could be codependency but they're letting it go okay so i really 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 like the devil in reverse with the end of the spread here ten of swords all right okay um doesn't look like a bad card here because from the seven we're going to the ten so what i like is that we're ending a cycle something that was anyways very deceptive because we have the world here so i'm getting a lot of closing out on chapters okay yeah. So what I do feel, okay, let's start. Um, yes, this is someone feeling very cheated, very betrayed, backstabbed, you know, feeling like overkill. But with the outcome, what I also like here is what probably you don't see is that, yes, this is an ending or a closure, but a closure to what? Closure to something that was meant to be dead. Okay. You're hitting a wall. This is overkill. It could also be, over, you know, closure to an exaggeration. So this could be betrayal, but again, what I see here is that this is the death of a situation before the beginning of a new situation, okay? So this is also a huge transition, you know, a major psychological transformation too, because this is all about swords. So give me one more card for the outcome, please. Give me one more card for the outcome. Give me one more card for the outcome. <coughs> nice see from the 10 we're going to the 9 that's what i'm saying so you are definitely ending a very bad cycle okay so not only are you coming out of some and you know coming out of some kind of depression you know <coughs> your problems are easing but i feel that you are finally going to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay there is a window of opportunity that's opening up this is uh more like uh you're ready to face your fears okay you're facing the world and I feel that there is some kind of communication also that is opening up. Yeah. But this definitely, this combination looks good to me. Okay. Because I reach from the left to the right. All right. So we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. All right. <coughs> so whatever happens, happens for the best. And with the 10 of swords here, you were almost at the end of the cycle. Right. You were almost there. So with the world here. 
I feel you're on your way to start a new journey, okay? Whilst there's another person who's coming here, okay, who's got their head and heart and balance finally, whilst you are very focused on yourself. There is a little bit of deception here, but it's quite workable is what I get. Yeah, it's workable. But things do get better. I think the way that's the way I see it. It is getting better, all right? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.